hi all so in this video we are going to learn about iterative statements in python so this is our chapter 4 so here we are going to learn only the introduction about iterative statements what is iterative statements how are we going to apply these concepts in our python programming only that part we are going to learn okay so first i'll explain what is loop the concept of loop okay i think you have heard this word um loop so looping is nothing but um repeating okay so in your media player media player can be anything like your music player your video player whatever it is you may you may have uh, seen this uh, word loop which means uh, a particular uh, set of songs or a single song can be repeated until you stop it okay suppose uh, we'll say that repeat mode right so that is what here we are mentioning as loop in programming language okay so that repeat mode how are we going to set it in our program and how it is going to work what is the use of setting this repeat mode all these things we are going to learn here in the name of looping okay so as i said it is a repeat mode so set of statements one or more statements as i said it can be a one song or a set of songs okay so that we are going to use it for multiple times okay so this repetition is called loops in programming languages okay uh, what is the use of this the advantages of using this looping techniques it reduces the number of times we are writing the instruction instead of um, adding the same song uh, in in our place it playlist again and again if you do it as a, a single looping single repeat mode that's better no so in the same way if you are using it as a looping technique like same set of statements again and again in your program okay so because of that it is not only simply reducing the number of uh, uh, size of your program and also the usage of memory space okay so you, the memory space which is being utilized from by the program will be less okay so let me explain this concept with a flow chart so i think you are all aware of the flow chart because already we have learned this uh, we are just making a start of a program then check condition here we are checking the condition i, I already we have learned about uh, if statement and also you know what is condition how we, how can we, it will be checked all these things suppose if i am checking i the variable i with some value i is uh, less than 10 okay then the condition will be true then condition true means a set of statement block will work here if it is a simple if statement true means it will uh, do a uh, set of work it will come out false means another set else part and it will come out okay but here the iterative is going to happen iterative is nothing but adding some value to a variable which we already defined okay so as i said i is less than or equal to 10 or less than 10 the value of i will be increased when the condition is true i'm just adding one more value to the i so i plus one which means plus one or two or whatever that uh now value can be defined by the programmer so i plus one in the sense so in the next value will be value of i will be two so two is less than or equal to 10 again the condition is true again it will work so this is how this part is working and when it has come to i uh, so it will start increasing one by one the value of i will be increased one by one and finally when it is increasing at the end of the stage like 10 plus one 11 so i is less than or equal to 10 here 11 is less than or equal to 10 the condition is false so it will exit the loop and the program will get over okay so this is how it was it is working and i will just uh i'm just going to give one more example like a uh, running of uh, animation so making a animated uh, object to run on the screen okay so this you can see in all your um favorite uh, cartoon channels okay so uh, running is a very very easier thing because the object should keep on move until the condition is becoming false false in the case if it is a road or flat area it will keep on running suppose if it meet the uh, requested part i mean the part the spot where the uh, object could stop okay in that case it will stop running okay so this is the concept of loop so actually the this running of this object is also a loop repeated mode of the same way left leg right leg left leg right leg so that's what happening here okay so i think um uh, apart from all these things this image will give you a better understanding of loop so that's why i've added this so next we are going to see 
the iterative statements so as i said what is the use of iterative statements in your programming looping okay so the statements that keep repeating themselves as long as given condition is true are called iterative statements the looping statements okay so it will keep on work it will keep on run the same set of programs okay so that until the condition is true when the condition is false it will come out okay until the condition is true that particular set of statements will keep on repeating themselves so that is called iterative statements or repetitive statements both are same iterative statements and repetitive statements are same okay as soon as the condition become false the loop terminates which means it will come out from that particular loop wherever it is and it will start uh, executing the next set of programs and the other name of these iterative or repetitive statement is looping statements or simply loops so the name of this statements is iterative statements or it can be a repetitive statement or looping statement or simply loops okay same process we are calling with four different names okay so next thing iterative statement is based on three values okay one is start start value the initial value as i said in the uh, flow chart we are if you are going to use i here what is the beginning value the start value the initial value of i suppose i is equal to 0 or i is equal to 1 that should be assigned by the programmer so okay so that is what initial value and then we have a test condition as i said i is less than or equal to 10 i is greater than or equal to 5 or whatever okay so that is what test condition which we have already learned in um, if statements okay then we have step value increment or decrement so i plus 1 i have mentioned no in that um flow chart so i plus one that is what step value i can increment or i can dec even decrement okay so suppose if i am checking with greater value and i am reducing means i will use increment and smaller to gray uh higher value means i will use increment so these are the three important values which should be um included in iterative statement only then your for loop or while loop whichever loop you are going to use that will work properly okay then every loop works with the help of variable known as the control variable okay so control variable is nothing but here as i mentioned i i is the control variable here okay so it is very very important to mention a variable okay so the control variable is very very important in iterative statements okay so next we are going to see the types of iterative statements so first one is for for loop and then while loop so these are the two uh, types of iterative statements available in python not only in python most probably in all the programming languages so two types of iterative statements are for for and while simply if you say for but when you're when it is coming with loop we'll say as for loop and while loop okay so next we are going to see what is for loop okay so for loop is used when we are sure about the number of times a loop body will be executed suppose if i am going to use it for 10 times for 15 times or for even for n times n uh, n is a defined number okay so if you are defining the number and only up to this number your program your set of programs your set of statements and your looping part is going to get executed means you can use for loop okay so it is also known as definite group, loop because as i said you are going to define the value for that n how many times my loop is going to run so that is that number we are going to define so that is what that is why it is called this definite loop the for loop in python is used to iterate over the times of a sequence in order such as a list or a tuple for a fixed number of times okay so i'm going to give a set of statements here and i'm going to use these uh, three values in my uh, iterative statement a initial value a condition and a step value so that my program will work out based on that particular condition okay so that is what called iterate over the times i is uh, i plus i is equal to i plus one or i is equal to i plus two i can have in any number okay so that is what here um iterate over the items of a sequence order okay in some particular order next we are going to see about while loop while loop is the simplest of all looping structure so once you started working you'll understand the meaning of this uh, statement so it is very 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 easier when we compare to other looping structures okay even we have do while loop 
okay so that we will learn later but while is the easiest one simplest one of other, when we compare that with other looping structures and this loop can be applied to a program where the number of iteration is not known beforehand so we don't know how it is going to work how many times it is going to work so in that case we are going to use while loop because only if the program runs if if you see the for loop i'm just giving the step value there in the condition itself but if you take while loop the condition will come only after the program executed okay only after the set of statements get, get executed so here i may not know i i cannot define this is the value of n okay in that case i can use while loop okay so the while loop keeps on executing the block of statement as long as the specified test condition evaluates true so same concept here only if the condition is true it is going to work when the condition is false it is going to come out so what is the difference in for loop it is a definite one i know the value of n i know how many uh, number of times my loop is going to work that i know it before itself but here i don't know how it is going to work i mean the how many times it is going to work the loop is going to run so in that case we are going to use while loop okay so in the upcoming videos we will learn how uh, we are going to implement this for loop and while loop in our python programming and leave your comments about this video in the comment box we'll see you in the next video happy learning